Andy Katz here for the WCC with a look at men's basketball in the postseason. All right, Gonzaga dominated St. Mary's in the third game that the two teams played this season to win the 2023 University Credit Union WCC Basketball Tournament in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena. Gonzaga beat the Gales 77-51. They've now won 10 of the last 11 UCU WCC Basketball Tournaments. Drew Timmy was named the tournament's most outstanding player, while Julian Strother and Anton Watson made the all-tournament team. So, what do they get for that? They get a number three seed in the West. Gonzaga will take on number 14 Grand Canyon on Friday in Denver. It'll be the first meeting of these schools. Gonzaga will be making its 24th straight appearance in the NCAA tournament. The game will tip at 4.35 Pacific time on True TV. St. Mary's got a five seed in the NCAA tournament, but the Gales will take on number 12 seed VCU in Albany, New York on Friday. These teams actually met in the first round of the 2017 NCAA tournament, and St. Mary's won 85-77. Since 2010, the Gales have heard their name called for the NCAA tournament seven times. And the game on Friday in Albany will tip at 11 a.m. Pacific time on TBS. After finishing in third place in the WCC regular season, Santa Clara also is playing in the postseason. The Broncos will host number two seed Sam Houston in the first round of the NIT, marking the second straight year in which Santa Clara has competed in the NIT. Tip time is set for six o'clock Pacific time on Wednesday and can be watched on ESPN+. Once again, the UCU WCC basketball tournament was a tremendous success at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. In addition to seeing Gonzaga and St. Mary's square off once more, fans were treated to a double overtime thriller that ended with San Francisco beating Santa Clara. The Dons and BYU each picked up two wins in the early rounds before falling to Gonzaga and St. Mary's respectively in the semifinals.